I'm playing on Minecraft Super Flat World Type, but not in creative mode. I'm playing in hardcore mode, which means if I die, my world is gone forever. But I just went to the nether, and it's not flat at all. Wait, what would happen if the entire nether was transformed into super flat? This may be the largest project I've ever done, so watch until the end and let me know if it was worth it. Step one of this project is to locate a place in the nether to transform. Now, I could waste all my rockets flying around the nether, or I could use Chunkbase and search the world map. Chunkbase is a website that allows you to enter the world seed and view your world, including all the structures and biomes. However, since I've already established my main portal area, I'm just going to use my main nether portal as the central feature. Now that I've got my location all picked out, it's time to outline the area that I'm removing. I'm using Mini HUD to render in a huge circle. This gives me a visual guide of which blocks need to be removed. Now the only thing that I have left to do is start removing blocks. Hello everybody, and welcome back. It's been 10 months since I've posted on YouTube, and I thought it was a good time to say hey. I've been keeping myself extremely busy over these past 10 months. I've started my very own IRL chicken farm. Yes, it's just in my backyard, but hey, I did get practice on my building skills by building a coop. I spent a lot of quality time with my family, I started a lawn care company, which is something I've always wanted to do. All in all, I was looking for another way to spend my time outside of Minecraft and content creating. I'd burned myself out, and I was trying to go bigger and bigger, and this project alone was a major cause of that. I will admit that I did continue working on the project over the past 10 months, and although I recorded a lot of footage, I ended up deleting it. I had decided that I was done. I didn't want to make content anymore, I deleted my Discord server, and left all but one small server with a group of friends. So before I go on, let's take a look at the project that made me quit Minecraft. First, let's take a look at the mob switch that I built. This is your basic zombie villager powered mob switch, which utilizes 75 hostile mobs to block all other hostile mobs spawning. And to get all those villagers, I used Logical Geek Boy's infinite villager breeder designed to make quick work of it. Then I would make a single trade with a villager and send them off to the nether to hang out with a zombie. A mob switch was imperative due to the unsanctioned daycare that was operating in my construction zone. Now, let's take a look at just what I've done. Okay. So I didn't finish the project as I haven't gotten rid of all the lava yet and gone to bedrock, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. I had so many plans for this area. I was going to completely transform this patch into a super flat nether representing all biomes. But what I didn't realize is that I was just going bigger and bigger because that's what I thought you all wanted. It was fun for a while but it quickly became too much. Looking back, I'm sure what you all really wanted was the typical Soho charm and fun videos with, without having to go crazy. Which brings me to the future. 
I don't know if I'll continue making content forever. But what I do know is, is that I miss it, and I miss all of you. My goal is to have fun with Minecraft again and document all the fun times for myself and for you to enjoy. I hope you'll join me. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.